Now, uh, moving on to the next question, uh, we have, uh, you know, people keep saying that the market at current uh, stage is like, especially I'm, re I'm referring to the Indian equity market, uh, the Sensex is all at all time high and even Nifty has also been uh, reaching uh, new heights uh, in the last couple of months. Since the pandemic time, the market has kind of risen very high and uh, the market seems to be on a bull run. Uh, what are your views about India's growth story? Do you think, uh, of course, though nobody can predict uh, what is going to happen in the future, but based on the indices, based on the data, based on the uh, country's growth, uh, where, where do you see Indian uh, economy growing and how it's going to impact the Indian stock market? Uh, well, uh, at least from the last six, seven years that I have been investing, I see a lot of structural changes that are happening in the Indian economy and uh, I at least uh, I'm the one I'm a bull for sure so I feel uh, the next 10 20 years uh, it will be a big bull run in India mainly because uh, uh, there is potential for India to contribute so much to the global economy that the money will definitely flow to India so I think uh, overall according to him the prospect of for Indian economy and the Indian stock market looks very good now that brings me to you know one of the last questions you know uh, if you were to start your career again let's say instead of 2013 there are many people who are graduating every year like if you had you were to graduate in 2021 and assuming that you have about let's say a 1 lakh rupees uh, monthly salary uh, how do you divide that 1 lakh uh, rupees monthly salary including your expenses as well as for investment purposes? Yes, uh, uh, so uh, a very interesting question. So if I were to be uh, a fresher again who is starting, I would aim to save as much possible as my salary as possible. So in the initial first few years at least where you don't have anyone you necessarily have to support where you're just have, you just have to support yourselves. I would suggest someone to at least aim for saving 50 to 60 percent of their take home salary uh, because it, whatever you invest in the initial years right during the time by the time you retire that would have earned you multiples so if you were to start investing at 30 you have to invest much more to achieve a corpus than you were to start at say 21 or 25 very good very good now uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, youngsters these days they are talking about retiring early you know like i would like to retire at the age of 40 years i would like to retire at the age of 45 years or some are even thinking i will retire in my 30s itself and have a lot of uh, sources of passive income and i would like to retire at the age of uh, 30 or 40. what are your views on uh, this idea of early retirement well, I am not a big fan of early retirement, but I am a fan of financial independence. I don't want my job to be, um, I, I don't want to work from the scare of, uh, by being scared of not being able to support my family. So that is something I want to get away from as soon as possible. I want to work, but I should be financially independent. So I, if I want to work, it is only because I like the job, not because I cannot provide for my family if I cannot work. Wow, that's interesting. That's interesting to hear from a, a youngster. One last question. Learnings, your learnings. Along the way, you must have made a few mistakes. Just one or two mistakes that are very fresh in your memory and you would want, you don't want to repeat them. What would they be? Yes, and the, the main learnings that I've had is uh, uh, don't uh, just uh, don't invest on the just one suggestion of someone if some relationship manager called you and said this is something that you have to do um, don't make decisions in a hurry when it comes to uh, the financial markets do some research even though it may take time even though there may be a delay of few days understand what you are buying into because uh, um, now today it may be a small decision but you will have to make bigger decisions in your financial life sooner or later so the habit of knowing what you're buying into is very important okay so uh, that's a very very uh, good suggestion so basically there are going to be a lot of people in the market it can be a stock broker it can be your friend it can be your colleague it can be somebody or a news factor maybe or a huge investor like rakesh junjulwala or uh, mr damani or so many other people who have their own portfolios uh, just because somebody told you to buy a particular stock and somebody uh, informed that okay that probably that stock is going to perform well or that instrument is going to perform well 
uh, you don't have to invest you need to do your own due diligence a lot of youtubers are also putting on informations and giving ideas in terms of what stock might go up what stock might come down uh, what stock is going on a sideways however uh, listen to everything read everything and uh, think of investment uh, only after uh, you are sure and you have made your own due diligence i think that's a very insightful uh, idea indeed okay now uh, a lot of people don't want to invest directly in stocks uh, but still they want to reap the benefits that the equity market is going to give them what are your suggestions for them well i think uh, fortunately for us uh, for people like that there is an excellent mutual fund industry in india that we have currently which is very well regulated and uh, transparent to the best extent so i myself i'm a huge fan of mutual funds i don't trust myself to be completely in stocks so whatever i have i divide between mutual fund and stocks so if somebody is not uh, there is no need to uh, feel that i'm not good enough to invest in equities but that's a good thing if you know what your limitations are that's a good thing because the returns that you get from mutual funds will be on par with what you get from stocks without having to take that risk that brings me to another question related to uh, unit linked insurance plans there are quite a few insurance companies uh, you know after the liberalization of the economy you have got every single uh, a whole lot of companies are there which are selling whole lot of products and then they say it is a market linked unit linked insurance plan and you your uh, money is going to be multiplied or you are going to get x amount of money out if you stay invested in this insurance plan of course there is some assured so that lure also is there uh, in your opinion mr raghavendra uh is it a good idea to have uh, you know the buy these insurance linked uh, uh, i mean uh, unit linked insurance plans well from my personal experience i think uh, ulips are not that great a product i myself had invested in ulips in the early stages of my career trusting the advice of my relationship manager but while i was buying into i was not fully aware of the cost structure i think the cost structure of ulip is such that the majority of your investment goes into paying the fees of the investment manager rather than going into the markets and the returns have also not been great from ulip from my experience and uh, the worst part is there is a lock in fire and uh, if you were to stop your investment in the lock in period your money would be put in a, a deposit 4% deposit i think and you would get it only after the lock in period so uh, when there are such severe restrictions about the way my money can be redeemed i generally don't prefer so my my suggestion for someone would be just uh, only if units you need serve your purpose um only invest in ulip if you think it does otherwise don't invest for ulip just because you think it's a good investment option because ulip is not the general saying is don't mix insurance and investments so i'm of the opinion that ulips can be avoided to the maximum wonderful extent. i think he is pretty clear in terms of his thoughts on uh, ulips and insurance and investment uh, so uh, the general idea that you know investment and insurance shouldn't be kind of clumped then mixed because they are two different uh, objectives the goals of both these products are two different right so that kind of clarity is absolutely very good now you know before we conclude this uh, interaction with mr raghavendra i would like to uh, hear two more questions i would like to ask him two more questions question number 1 mr raghavendra is what one or two books that you would recommend the, my uh, viewers and subscribers that they should be reading with regards to investment yes uh, so i i would uh, suggest from the books that i personally have read and found to be useful i think uh, one book which everyone who starts out in the financial market should read is let's talk Ma money by monica halan this sets out a good foundation for personal finance so personal finance i feel is not just about investments it's also about doing a lot of uh, 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 having a lot of things in place like uh, uh, term insurance health insurance and all the other um, aspects of personal finance will are beautifully explained in this book and uh, another book which i myself have found very useful is uh, a book called the psychology of money by morgan housel that explains um, the mindset one needs to have to build wealth i have found that incredibly useful wonderful so in fact uh, you know you must be remembering uh, you can actually watch this video which i had put up uh, previously and in that video i had very clearly spoken about the same book and by the way just to kind of you know confess in front of everybody it was his uh, idea his suggestion that i should also read that book uh, monica halan's uh, let's talk money 
so you can watch this video which i put up on the card over here in case you wish to kind of revisit that video okay so that actually brings us to the end of uh, this uh, interview uh, i take this opportunity to thank mr raghavendra very young investor very vibrant uh, person he is very clear in terms of what he wants to spend on and what he wants to kind of invest on so such uh, clarity of thought at a very young age like this is uh, really appreciable and uh, his uh, focus on creating wealth because he understands the power of money the compounding power of money and the ways and the strategy to create wealth uh, that understanding is really appreciable thank you so much for uh, being uh, part of this uh, you know uh, session uh, mr raghavendra i'm very happy to have you with us and uh, i wish you all the very best in your career and in your money money making journey Thanks a lot, Ramesh. It was Thank wonderful you. to be part of this show. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's all on this video. Thanks for watch, uh, watching this video. Like it if you like it, and do share the video among your friends and acquaintances. I'm sure many of them are going to like a video like this. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye bye.